I am Peabody. The one with the newspaper in his mouth is my boy, Sherman. It's a new trick I just learned, Mr. Peabody. My heartiest felicitation, Chairman, but in the future when you fetch my paper, don't grasp it with your molars. You've perforated the stock market quotations. Shall I run out and give another one? You won't have time. You see, we are overdue at Aachen, Germany. Who are we going to visit? The man who founded the first news agency, Paul Julian Reuter. After setting the time indicator for the year 1849, we enter the Wayback Machine, patent pending, and were immediately ushered to a small hamlet in western Germany. This was Aachen. And look, there's Mr. Reuter's news agency. Suddenly, from an upstairs window, a paper airplane sailed out and fluttered its way down to our feet. Gee, what a keen airplane. Yes, but a miserable news dispatch. I flattened the paper out, and there was a United Press story about a man biting a dog. The dispatch was supposed to be on its way to London, England. Hey, what's the big idea flowing down the dispatch? Really, Mr. Reuter, do you honestly intend this paper airplane to get to London? Well, if the wind keeps blowing, yes. Is this the way you send your news? What's the matter? You got a better way? Before we could answer, a loud bell began to peal. And the good citizens of Aachen started running to the other end of town. Quick, grab a bucket and come! What is it, a cow milking car? Worse than that, it's a fire. Sure enough, we arrived just in time to watch a two-story building go up in smoke. Why doesn't someone call the fire department? That is the fire department. There was nothing left to do but to toast marshmallows. If we had had marshmallows... Oh, what a terrible catastrophe. Cheer up, Mr. Reuter. You've lost the fire department, but you've gained the story. Mr. Peabody's right. Why not send a dispatch to London? Because my competition's beating me to it. Reuter pointed to a gentleman who was busily setting down the details of the recent conflagration. That's Fritz Grimmelshausen. He always gets his dispatches to London before me. How does he do it? Watch, you see? He stuffs the dispatch into the bottle and sticks it in the water. Then he waits for the tide to go out. Herr Reuter, I don't like to brag, too often that is, but I am definitely most positive that with my aid, your communique will reach London before Mr. Uh... Grimmelshausen. <clears throat> yes, the tide was already going out, so we had no time to lose. Seconds later, we were inside Reuter's news agency. There, it's all set to go. Stand back. We watched in horror as Reuter deftly fashioned another paper airplane and let it fly. This one got as far as the window, then nosedived to the floor. Oh, conditions are no good for flying. I'm afraid it's hopeless. Herr Reuter, air mailing your dispatches is the right idea. It's the manner in which you do it that's wrong. What's the matter? You think I should put a pilot in the plane? No, no, no. You need a different type of aircraft. I led the way to the roof, and there, perched on a shingle, was a pigeon. It was a simple matter to tie the dispatch to his leg. Okay, pigeon, fly to London. He's off! Congratulations, Mr. Reuter. You'll beat Mr. Grimmelshausen for sure. Sherman was a trifle premature, for the aforementioned Mr. Grimmelshausen had spotted the pigeon and quickly mounting a horse took a chase. In one hand, a pigeon gun. Ooh, that stinker's gonna shoot down my dispatch. Oh, no, he's not. He hailed a taxi and gave chase. He hasn't fired a shot. What's he waiting for, Mr. Peabody? He's waiting for the bird to come down and rest. But in the meantime, there's work to do. Quickly, take this piece of paper and make it airplane. Even as I spoke, our feathered friend glided into view and came to a halt on the left shoulder of the town statue. <laughs> he looks bushed. Never fear, he'll regain his strength in a moment. Oh, but it'll be too late. Look, there's that rascal Grimmelshaw. And he's aiming a gun. The paper airplane, Herr Reuter, I'll take it now. I quickly calculated the wind direction, velocity, and then let fly. The airplane took off, executed four perfect Immelmans, and landed directly in the barrel of Grimmelshausen's gun. The trigger was pulled, but the bullet had no way out, so... Two days later, the pigeon reached London, and Reuter was firmly established as a news agency. No more paper airplanes. From now on, I make them out of cardboard. But he should stick with pigeons. He will in time, Sherman. What about Fritz Grimmelshausen? Well, as you can see, he converted his news agency into a fix-it shop. He claims he can repair anything. Unfortunately, anything he repairs doesn't work. Is that how we got the expression, on the Fritz? Yes. And it's also how we got the expression, on the Grimmelshausen. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>